Hello. Welcome to part 47 of my Legend of Zelda Wind Waker playthrough. I think we're on good pace to beat the game today. I'm going to see if we can't uh, beat this Link fella. Unflood, unflood Hyrule. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Been a while since I did one of these. A, uh, I think the last Ganondorf crew battle I did, last crew battle I hosted was uh, the Ganons versus the Terries. That was a little while ago, and it didn't have a great turnout. But uh, this one's looking a little bit better. We have a 4v4 with the Ganons versus the Toon Links. And I had a busy week, so I didn't participate in this one. I will didn't really get any friendlies in. I will not be playing. But we'll see how it goes. Hello, Darian. The stream did the thing again where it just, it, it, it defecated itself at the start and I had to start it a second time. So hopefully that didn't mess with the, uh, that didn't mess with the VOD on YouTube as it sometimes does because YouTube is weird and different from Twitch and it doesn't just let me, like, have a title ready to go. It has to, it makes me create an event for every single live stream on YouTube and I still don't know why years later they do it that way. Who is this? Who is Bomberman? Why is Bomberman here? Can our first guy join? I assume this that's a Toon Link. Uh, yeah, whoever is, like, queued to play is free to join at any time. I don't know why he sat in the stands next to me. Why he's putting his arm around me. It's a little weird. How you doing, Gavo? Just waiting for our first Ganon. Elf King, you forgot the S in the Twitch link. It's not Fourth Seat Studio. That's not gonna work, you dope. There it is. Working on a pretty big Yu Yu Hakusho piece. I saw you posted that in the uh, art channel. I assume it's Sensui. Kind of looked like Sensui. You've drawn him, like, twice now before? Here he is. Here's our first Ganon. Is a uh, Lancer, who I believe has been in previous uh, previous Ganon crew battles. Hello, Malin. It's good to see you too. Why are- why is everybody getting all, like, chummy with me in the stands? Get in the arena! Alright, so both people are here. Hopefully this 
uh, doesn't close the arena because we're taking a little while to get started at this point. new to the server. Well, I'm afraid you're a little bit late for the Ganon Smash Ultimate heyday. We have, the, the crew battles have slowed down, like, a lot. But, uh, many of them are still archived on YouTube. Any of the ones I hosted, anyway. Uh, I think Ganondorf archives his. He's the other, uh, Ganon Cord streamer. No, I am not going to mod Moxie. Shut up. Wind Waker 2. Link fucking dies. I am... Have you guys seen that uh, that project that they're trying to... Well, trying to, as if it exists. They, someone has made a deflooded Hyrule from Wind Waker. Like, they removed the water and they added a bunch of, like, terrain and stuff underneath it to simulate what it might be down there. And that's awesome, but I think it's just a map. I don't know that there's, like, a playable version. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, because that'd be awesome if it's playable. If it's just a map, then that's just... It, it's neat. I am a fan of the uh, the darker direct Zelda sequels. That being the Majora. That, that's pretty much the only one that we've gotten. Uh, is Tears of the Kingdom, like, darker than Breath of the Wild? Because I'm currently in the middle of my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild. I haven't gotten to Tears of the Kingdom yet. So far, a lot of the things I've heard of the, about it have been pretty much what I was worried about. And that, like, once you play Tears of the Kingdom, there's not a whole lot of reason to go back to Breath of the Wild. But I don't know. I haven't played it. What, what do you guys think about that? Well, I'm sure both games are great. I reasonably enjoyed my time with Breath of the Wild, but... If Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild, but better, then... Would you ever go back to replay Breath of the Wild, is my question? Because people are still replaying Ocarina of Time 20 years later. I love replaying Ocarina of Time, and I love Majora because it's a very, very, very different game, despite being in the same engine and having many of the same things in it. I wonder what a Wind Waker 2 would be like, because that's where this discussion started. I guess we kind of sort of got that, but not really with the other Toon Link games that a lot of people didn't like. Certainly not as popular as Wind Waker. All right, sounds like they have decided they're playing on Small Battlefield. Ready? 
how this works if you've never seen a JMU crew battle is that both teams start with the full amount of stocks, 12 stocks. Each player has three stocks. When a player runs out of stocks, they will be removed, and it's like a relay onto the next person. This is our first match, Lancer the Ganon versus Gavo the Toon Link. Again, I did not have time to myself participate in the JMU discussion or friendlies over the week. So I am not as well versed in Toon Link as I would like to be. That looks like death for Ganon. Yep. That dash attack angle is nasty. Davo giving Lancer the runaround. Lancer having difficulty approaching. Bombs at Lidge don't seem like they're going to KO by themselves, but they are extra damage. Lancer with the whiz kick in neutral. Would not recommend that offline. Arguably defensible online. Lancer makes it back to stage. Dash attack on shield! Hmm. Davo with a back throw for a second KO. Lancer is a little bit desperate to get in, and he's not getting the neutral wins. Dare on stage, not enough to kill. Back air, get shielded. Can he get one stock? Nair, from across the stage, also not enough to kill. Okay, there we go. Another on stage dare takes a stock off of Gabo. Sorry, let me remove the chat box. I want to do that during matches. Mm, bomb into another dash attack. Oh, was that a bear? Yeah, it was. A, I think that was a bear. One more stock off of Lancer for a score of two links at eleven, and the Ganons now at nine stocks. Sorry if my voice is a little bit nasally. I actually had not intended to, uh... I hadn't planned on streaming this today, but uh, this was kind of a last-minute decision. Alright, put the chat back on. He jumps way too much, especially from ledge. There did look to be a lot of pressing buttons and hoping in that, in that match. Which I, I am very guilty of myself as a Ganon. Any matchup with a Link is stressful, though. Any matchup with a projectile character is usually stressful for Ganondorf because... He can't really just sit back and be patient as he... as usually benefits Ganondorf in neutral because he'll get constantly poked by projectiles but he also can't run in or he'll get projectile into a combo usually in projectile matchups Ganon has to approach very slowly and cautiously and it's not fun at all Surely you want to stay grounded to approach most of the time. Oh, yeah, as, as Ganondorf, generally true. Also, walking is uh, better than running. Since you can uh, 
You can act out of walking quicker than you can act out of a dash. Also, that's yes, that's true. Walking up and shielding projectiles on reaction is not as effective online as it is offline. It's just a hard life for Ganon. He just wants the world to not be flooded anymore. Sounds like our next Ganon is on the way, but in a game? Is he playing friendlies with someone? I can't believe he's cheating on Smash. Anyone still looking forward to multiverses? It's happening. It wasn't cancelled. Warner is not writing it off for a tax tax reduction. In fact, they put out a video recently of like, hey, we, we got a lot of feedback from the open beta and we're making a lot of changes, which is great, except... My, my, my complaint with it, and a lot of people's complaints with it, was how it played. It felt slow. It felt kind of imprecise and unless they're like dramatically changing the game engine I don't see a whole lot changing but we'll see it's taking too long to come out uh, I like doubles and I like the idea of a 2v2 focused fighting game granted that's going to be inherently very hard because of online you have four consoles connected as opposed to just two. And it also has a lot of ways that it wanted to utilize the doubles thing that were better in theory than in practice. I don't like any of the MOBA things they put in it. I don't think they need, like, healing characters. I don't think they need support characters. And I also don't like how a lot of this stuff was on a cooldown with, like, a little icon. A great thing about Smash is that everything is intuitive. And they don't... I, I, I get the argument that a lot of things in Smash could use more UI elements. Especially character gimmicks like, uh... Ah, oh, what, is, what is some? Like, uh... Max KO Meter has a UI thing, doesn't it? I've heard UI complaints like obviously heroes that heroes menu needs to be like icons and not text. But for the most part, Smash is pretty good about making things relatively simple while still being usable. Looking at things like uh, how Rob kind of glows red more when his laser is charged, Wario's waft. That's true, they did update the uh, the hitboxes the hurt and the hurtboxes in the multiverses, so they're not big, just rectangles anymore. What are they doing? Are they going FD? Oh, I hope they're going FD, but I don't think... Are they? Oh, they're going small battlefield again. Lame. Go FD! Well, they also, like, they removed a lot of stuff that exists in Smash, like, uh, was it there's no back airs, I think, in multiverses? There's a lot of moves missing from multiverses, 
Which, in theory, is great to simplify the game, but then they go and make the characters themselves, like, extremely... They have a lot of complex mechanics on every character, and it really makes you have to learn the characters before you can play the game at even a basic level. I think the skill floor for multiverses is a lot higher than Smash's because of that. It takes a long time of playing a multiverses character before you really associate what's happening on screen to the buttons you're pressing and you're not just mashing. And on the intuition thing, something always happens when you press a button and smash. Even if Wario's waft isn't charged, he'll do a little, you know? It would feel kind of lame if you if you used an uncharged waft and you just got a little meter that, nope, this is on cooldown, you can't use this yet. Things like that make Smash just feel very smooth and natural to play and intuitive. Anyway. Match 2, one, Gavo, go. the Toon Link, versus SL, the Ganon, and because this is a JMU, crew battle. Gavo begins with his two remaining stocks from the previous match. Generally taunt to start, and begin. Ooh. SL with a much more patient start than Lancer. Still having trouble getting something started, though. Ooh. Flame choke into disadvantage. Back to stage control, but he can't get in. I'll get the first stock. Oh. He was re he was going for a roll in read. Back air takes a stock off of Gavo. Gavo. Guava. Ooh. Catches Dare with flame choke. SL has him downloaded. He's doing stuff now. Hmm. Davo with the bear, not quite enough to kill. SL is still... Oh, there he goes. Just barely too far out. That's one stock off of each so far. Davo, on point with the uh, RARs. Oh, what was that? Why did... It was shielding anyway, but why did Fair... I think that was when the... The visual came out, but the hitbox had not yet. Optimistic full hop Nair. SL jabs him off stage. Guavo, Gavo makes it back. SL throwing everything out, just trying to get one more hit on him. Mm. Gavo shields the whisk kick follow up. SL no. Ooh, dash attack for the second stock off of Gavo. SL has helped the Ganons to catch up a bit. That is one more stock off the Ganons and two more off the Lynx. Score is now 8 to 9. Toon Link favored. You know, I considered doing the Dragon Roost music for this, but everybody uses the Dragon Roost music for Toon Link.
what would a true Wind Waker sequel be like? Because Wind Waker ends with, what, Link and Tetra just, like, going out in search of vague adventure? They don't really have a goal for their new journey. No, we don't speak about Phantom Hourglass. I don't even like that Phantom Hourglass is represented in Zelda's moveset in this game. I don't care if it's useful. I don't care if it's a great move. It's stupid. Get rid of Phantom. I don't like it. I'm still upset that they took away light arrows. That was like Zelda's thing. Like, if you're not gonna make it her final smash, make it her down special. It, it probably it should have just stayed her final smash, though. There are four mo four moxies in this chat right now, and one lucky Maulin. We going FD? We're going FD. Arena password. It is in pins. Check the pins. What is the stage banning system this JMU is using? Uh... The winner bans three stages. Let me double check what our, uh, our list is for this crew battle. Because it varies a little bit by JMU. It's, it's both of the, uh, both of the mod, the staff members usually have to agree on a stage list. Uh... Our stages are Final Destination, PS2, Smashville, Battlefield, Small Battlefield, Hollow Bastion, Town and City, and Kalos. So, winner bans three of those. I don't know if the stage that was just played on is assumed to be banned or not. It wasn't, is that the Dave stupid rule? Isn't that that thing? No Dave, or a stupid rule, okay. I had a feeling it had never come up before now, but I couldn't remember for sure. Because, you know, it's been a thousand years since we did one of these. Match three. three SL two, the Ganon versus one, Diego the Link. Go. SL, no! Oh, you got it! SL, you got it, SD! You're down a stock. Well, all right, got to start this over. This happens once a crew battle. All right, SL wins. Cannon. That 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 that's a joke. Don't don't take it seriously. I don't know how true this is. I remember some stupid story about a pair of Smash, play Smash players, Smash players, at an offline uh, tournament. One guy's controller stops working. The other guy offers to pause while he sorts it out. And then the other dude tries to get the, the, the nice guy disqualified for pausing when his controller did not work. Alright, SL. SL the Ganon versus Diego the Toon Link. SL down one stock. Begin. Hmm. The projectiles out of the gate. 
bold whiz kick into Toon Link's face, but he eats a little poop for it. Diego gets a shot with 18%. Three moves from Ganon, and he's got the lead on Toon Link. Mmm. He goes for a dare edge guard. Doesn't quite pan out. I would have been stupid. I would have tried to up special Link at, at that spot. SL loves his whiz kick. He just keeps doing it. <laughs> this is very silly music for this match, by the way. Ooh. Jump call out with the up smash takes the first stock off Diego. Can SL even out the percentages? Diego spending a lot of time off stage. Ganon's bad, but his edge guarding is not. Diego, with an F smash, takes a stock off of SL. Hmm? SL expecting a missed tech. Diego rolls away. Mm, get the shield break. Please break his shield. Ooh. <laughs> Diego uses bomb to break himself out of up special. End lag. These are both players using some unconventional moves. I don't know tune like that well, but like up special and neutral doesn't seem like a great idea in a lot of these cases. SL staying relatively patient. He had the up special. But SL didn't fit, didn't quite capitalize. Again, up special with bomb to end the uh, end lag. SL finishes another stock. 69 to 34. go either way at this point. Ooh. A lot of big openings that neither player is fully capitalizing on. Fake kill screen. SL is still in it. He could still finish Diego. Mm, there we go. What was that? F smash? There goes SL's final stock. Ganon's now down to six. Toon Link's at 7. Toon Link's maintain a 1 point lead. Next up is Suavemente. Who is that? That's Ganondorf, that's Navataru. This has been close so far. I don't know who the Toon Links have in the rosters. As usual, Ganon Cord maintains Raycom as anchor. <laughs> Sounds like Ganondorf is opting for small battlefield. Like a chode who does not pick Final Destination. I'm so why, why Ganondorf? Why do you have an eggplant in in your in your Discord name? That's weird. You're weird.
Bonk, this is a Christian stream. Do not make me turn chat off. America. I don't think this has anything to do with why Shadow the Hedgehog is his icon. But I love that in Sonic 2006, Shadow ends his levels by riding a bald eagle into the sunset. That 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 is amazing. That's the best part of that game, and that's a low bar. Alright. Diego, the Toon Link, versus Ganondorf, the Ganon. Diego starting with his one remaining stock. Play a little song. Mm. Ganondorf eating some early projectiles. Now, up special is fine if he's right on top of Ganon's shield like that. I, I, I think. There were a lot of cases in the previous match where Ganon was just nowhere near him when he did it. Diego throwing out every projectile. Ganondorf playing very patiently. He do he can do that. He has the stock lead, so in theory, Diego is the one who has to approach him. It ain't great, and you don't have to like it, but this is Smash Ultimate, and patience is the name of the game. Ganondorf misses his flame choke, goes over Diego's head, sent all the way across the stage. Still in it, though. Hanging on ledge a little bit too long. Diego only at 50%, and up smash takes out Ganondorf's first stock. Dolph opts not to attempt an offstage ledge guard. Once again, struggling to get in. A lot of dashing, not a lot of walking. Dolph eating hit after hit. It's okay, he's not a Ganon main, he's a Link main. I wonder if that was an intentional shield move by Diego. He, he wiggled his shield a little bit. If Dolph can get one more hit, that'd be enough to KO. Mm -hmm. Diego managing not to miss any of these vital techs until the one that he missed and it lost him the game! That is one more point off of both sides. Tink's continuing to uh, maintain their one stock lead throughout the entire crew battle. Do stock leads exist in crew battles? Uh, we- I feel like we had this discussion in the rules before, and we couldn't think of any way to do it except to be- it works like a normal match, yeah. We have a 10 minute time limit, but if the players were to time out, then the player with the- the, the least stocks would- would be the loser. You would have to really, really try to time out under these circumstances, though. You'd, you'd have to be not smart to do that. I mean, unless you're winning, then then you would be smart. But yeah, no. If you're if you're down, then you you, you should approach. You you should engage. All 
Alright, get out of here, Dalf. You're done. Show's over. Get lost. Wait, is Dalf done? No, Diego's done. Sorry. You can stay, Dalf. Why is there a sticker of Toon Link in a jar? Why does that exist? I don't like that. Anandolf bans Kalos, Hollow Bastion, and Smashville. Sounds like they are going to Battlefield. And the next Toon Link is Jazz slash Jazzerjaw. I am not familiar with these Toon Link players, so I apologize if I get anyone's name wrong. Next match, Jazzerjaw versus Ganondorf. Ganondorf down one stock. Can Toon Link defeat two stages of Ganondorf? He's got a strong start. Dolph has not landed a hit yet. Jazz playing very con con cautiously. was almost our first up special offstage kill. Jazz also using the uh, hook shot a lot more than any of the previous Toon Links. Hmm. There goes Dal's first stock. Jazz at 62%. Tipman onto stage. Somehow that was a trade. Dolph hoping for a landing of that up smash. Can he get a stock off of Jazz? Down tilt kills. Okay. Yep, we'll take we'll take we'll take those. Hanging on, blow after blow from Jazz. I, at this point, I might try to. No, I you couldn't take him out together. If you get inside, then uh, Dalf would lose his stock first, and Jazz would keep him too. Well, there goes Dalf's final stock. We are now down to a score of three versus five. Not looking great for the Ganons. I think Hyrule's gonna stay flooded. Well, 
Moxie's sweet. Moxie is not in the crew battle. Shut up. Oh, it... Could Ray not make it? Just want to confirm that this is, in fact, 4v4, not 5v5. Alright, sounds like Raycom could not make it, so our final Ganon will be Major. Major Tom. Is that Major the Ganon, or is that a different person? I'm sorry, I'm kind of dumb. Different person, okay. You think Major Tom has ground control? How's his stage control game? You think his spacing is an oddity? I'm fucking old. No one's gonna get these references. Yep, Major Sweep. Major's gonna do it. Major Tom is gonna do it. He's gonna take out Jazz's two stocks and all three stocks of the presumably better Link waiting in the rafters. Three, two, Next match. One, Major Tom, the Ganon, versus Jazz the Toon Link. Jazz with two stocks remaining. Jazz again playing a very pokey hit-and-run neutral. As one tends to do in Smash. Mm. Reads the Flame Choke and gets a dare on uh, dare on Major. I, I, I don't want to call him Major because that's going to be confusing. Tom eating a lot of hits, 112% versus Jazz's 29%. Mm. Bear does not quite kill Ganon. Mm. Smash attack, East Whiz kick, and Tom is d down a stock. It'll be impressive if we get to our final Toon Link. It's a fair. Still too low to kill, but he's getting some hits. Up here, still not enough. Mm. I'm not sure if he was attempting to do a reverse ledge guard dark dive. I think he was trying to tip man, but it didn't quite connect. There's a dark dive. That takes out a stock off of Jazz. Can he get one more? He's doing better. He's getting some hits now. I think he's got the download. Tom getting some nice hits off the uppercut of Dark Dive. Has saved him twice this match. Mm. I think he was trying a back air there, but he landed too soon. Tom loses one more stock. It is now one to one. Back air gets shielded. Jump into up smash. Tom pulls it off. The Ganons are hanging on by a thread. One stock remaining. We'll get to see the final Toon Link. Was it Mika? Is that the name?
I don't think we're gonna win this, but you know, 3-0 is better than 5-0. Their anchor is a PR player, so not looking good. Tom has already exceeded expectations because I didn't even know who he is, so I had no expectations. But good job, man. That's not true. I've seen him around game in court. Remember when Raiden got to be in a crossover arena fighter? And it wasn't Smash Brothers, it was PlayStation All-Stars. That that's the game that we spent Raiden on. Major Tom bans Town and City, Final Destination, Lame, and PS2. If Mika doesn't show up, is it a forfeit? Do we win? Are they here? Are we getting a sub? I mean, our anchor didn't show up either. We lost Ray. I, th I think we're getting a sub. I think we're getting Amarantha instead. Who is opting for Small Battlefield. Alright. A small, tiny glimmer of hope for the Ganons. It's not much... But Tom doesn't have to fight Mika. No, they're not gonna go FD. Tom lamed out of that. Why did they, when did this start, this go FD thing? Was that the Kazuya crew battle? Because it's such a dumb idea to take Kazuya to Final Destination, was that the start of it? Kazuya on stream the other day, and the information from the JMU was very helpful. However, I still died anyway because Gates of Hell exists. Alright, final match of the crew battle. Major Tom the Ganon with one remaining stock versus Amarantha, who is fresh with all three stocks. How bad do you guys think this matchup is? I haven't been... No, you got one, Tom, not two. Get out of here. I haven't been following the discussion, so I don't know how bad this is agreed to be. Obviously, Ganon loses. That's a foregone conclusion. Tom gets the first hit. Maybe Amarantha is actually Jazz in disguise. Maybe the download from the previous match will carry over. Tom getting the neutral win so far. Throws the bomb right back. Ooh, the tip man! No, it wasn't tip man. It was a backwards hit, but that's all right. He finishes the first stock with a dare spike. Didn't quite shield the up special long enough. There was a mistech there. 
Tom did not capitalize. Is Amarantha a uh, tink cord mod? Their name, their name is Pink. I don't know what that means. That was a nasty angle that uh, that Tink F tilt sent at. That would have been awful at a higher percent. Tom now at a hundred percent, hundred nine percent. There's that optimistic whiz kick in neutral. Tink avoiding the bear and the up smash. Oh! Tink with the usual Amarantha with the usual combo into bear takes Ganondorf's final not Ganondorf uh, Major Tom's final stock for a final score of two to zero. Sadly, the Toon Links have won the crew battle, and Hyrule will remain flooded. This is now their future. That's right, they should have gone FD. That, that would have solved it. Well, that concludes the Ganons vs. Toon Links JMU crew battle. Thank you everyone for joining. If, by some strange miracle, you like the sound of my voice, come back a little bit later today. I'm currently in the middle of uh, Breath of the Wild with a friend, and Sly 3, and we may stream one of those in a little bit. That's it for today, though. No exhibition matches on this one. Once again, thank you for joining, and we'll see you guys for the next stream, or the next crew battle. Adios.